Good afternoon, oil traders. It is 3 p.m. on September 25th. It's Monday. It's the day after the OPEC news, quote unquote, and uh, it's brutal for the bears and I as the bulls take us well past 52. Yes, I said 52. Um, and uh, yeah, it, just brutal. Um, so I, as planned, I did decide to uh, sell off about 40% of that uh, long position. Um, I took a loss. It's the first loss I've taken in quite a while. Um, you know, strategically, I feel good about it, but of course, um, today it does suck. Um, so I took a loss for $746, um, selling that uh, long position at a crude price of $51.40. Um, that was kind of the resistance level that we picked um, right here. As you can see, we were there for about three hours or so, um, trying to break through, and uh, I mean, it was a resistance level, so it could have gone either way, and I decided to, to bet against it. Um, obviously, that proved to be wrong. And uh, what else proved to be wrong was where I decided to enter into uh, my next short buy, which was on uh, the next resistance level that we encountered, which we spent um, oh, about an hour or so there, and uh, I decided to get into my short at a crude price of 51.87. Again, before we popped up well above 52, reaching a high of 52.27. Um, so if we do go higher, my plan is to exit the remainder of that long position. Um, and uh, yeah, strategically, you know, I'm happy with what's happening and what I'm doing and how I'm executing this. Um, of course, I'm um, practically all, bull, all bear right now and uh, the market is very bull. So uh, as you can imagine, this really blows. Um, <laughs> it's hard to sound optimistic. Um, it still looks very much bullish and I could be wrong for quite a while. Um, but I have been in this position, in this situation, in the past, and uh, patience has rewarded me. So I'm just going to stay the course, and uh, for now, just be more patient. Um, it is what it is. I hope others have played this much better than I have. Let me know. Hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca, where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, and specifically where you'll find that loss right here, that big red number, which is the only red number on that page. Um, you know, it's comforting to look at my trading history and knowing that my profits um, subsequent to that, um, you know, well exceed that loss. Uh, so it's part of the game. Uh, it still sucks. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time here on the East Coast in North America. Until then, good luck. Cheers.